Okay, hi everybody. How you doing? <laughs> I'm doing really good. Oh my goodness, I have this so close. I have uh, another something here with resin. You seen me fill this up on my video I did with the anchor with my leftover uh, sand that I had. So, of course, I had to put the stuff in there, you know, as soon as I ended that video because the resin was going to harden if I didn't. So I went ahead and added all kinds of goodies. Hey, <laughs> there's lots of stuff in there. Starfish and all kinds of different shells. There's actually some glass glitter in there. See that pink? There's some purple, blue, some blue rocks, sand dollars, you know, starfish, um, naturals, shells crunched up. There is blue and silver glitter in there too, but it's it's like you have to really look hard. Anyway, I went ahead and put some plants and the sand first, of course, then just all the little fun stuff. <laughs> so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing the deep pour resin from the epoxy resin store and um, just filling it up, not all the way, probably just about, you know, about right here. And, you know, just to make it look like a legit sort of fishbowl. <laughs> and then I'll wait. The, then the hard part comes, okay? <laughs> That's the hard part. And it would take probably about 12 hours. It's just one of those things you have to keep watching, babysitting it, you know? And what I do is I'll take a stick kind of lay it in there feel it because there's just a hardening point where all of a sudden it starts to get tacky you know it gets thicker and thicker and thicker and then all of a sudden I could I swear within maybe an hour or two it can go hard okay so it's tricky I uh, believe me I've experienced it before anyway so yeah, I did put in some of these really cool looking things right in here. See those right there? They're like little rubber things. There's a blue one and there's the purple one. We'll take a look at it since we're here. Oh, my camera videotapes well because I'm using HD 60 anyway uh, so I thought I'd just show you what those were got these at Walmart I'm like does that not look like coral or what so these are so good for these kind of things that I'm doing and you know I could put like some little trouts and stuff. I get these little fish at Michael's. And I have, oh, lots of little fishy stuff in my box here. Um, oh, look what I got. I got a fishing stick for one of my other sculptures. But anyway, it comes with lots of little fish. You can get those packets too. And then there's other packets with, um, a whole bunch of those little small fish but this one I'm gonna put Nemo in he's gonna be cute in there I think it's gonna be cute right you know the side right here somewhere but uh, I'm trying to find those fish packets anyway a whole bunch of little fish Michaels you can get them at and then I have a, a new 
boat one I'm going to do on one of those bigger sculptures. I haven't done this yet. I've been looking forward to doing this. So that's going to be neat. You know, like shipwreck inside one. Anyway, lots of fun stuff to do. I just thought I'd show you. But aren't these cute? I think some coasters would be adorable with these. Oh my gosh. I just love all this sea stuff, you know. Oh, I even have this boat too. You know, so I love doing these, they're fun. Okay, so like with this floral epoxy, it's a three and one. And um, I really love these containers. <laughs> these are those painter trays, you know, because the side of the stick can go scrapes it really nice. And it, it's very thin. It's not like your tabletop. Very, very thin. And it's like water. And the bubbles surface real easy because it's thin. They're microscopic bubbles. And I like them in my water ones. So I don't go real, real slow. I don't like them that way. Um, then the the next thinner um, resin that the epoxy resin store has is the liquid diamonds, and that's for like oh, like your jewelry and stuff, small crevices. So you just want to stir that for about four or five minutes. I do about five. I make some good because you just, you want to make sure you scrape your stick too in between. And I'll just get this and it comes right off. Get your sides real good. So yeah, that's why I choose these painter ones because they're big for big, big pores. And I could let this sit for here for about two hours to do projects and still use it. Well, this is real fun. I know I made up maybe just a little bit extra. Hopefully I did. If I did, I'm going to brush this owl mold I have with some mica powders and pour the rest in there if I have enough. And it, the bubbles will surface too while it's in here. Oh, and this is 34 ounces. Ah, not 34, 24. No, I'm not going to have enough for the owl. There, that's where I want it. That's exactly where I want it. So there's about this I can't show you now. Well, I guess I could. See, it's got that much space still. So, I think that's it. I have some crystal white here. I usually just dump a little out. His nose white. This brush is not the best brush. You know what I'm gonna have to do? Cut this brush or run out in my storage room and it's cold out there. I'm gonna clean out the whoopsie the inside of his eyes. Some areas here. His feathers. Okay. So I did all this in here. Chameleon red. Huh. We'll see. 
This is rosewood. I'm going to do space gray. Uh, do they have dark eyes? Oh, yeah, let me clean his eyeballs out again with alcohol. Because whatever color is down first is going to show up. Don't matter what you put on top. Fun. We'll do some seafoam green. We'll just leave him alone now and Pour in the stuff. I've made two of these before. Run out of when I have enough. And then I get enough for something else. Let me find something else. All right. So that's going to take a long time to cure, even longer than that fish bowl. And this definitely a long time because they're thin, but they'll still work. It's just gonna take a long time. All right, let's call it quits. I've got turtles and things too. I'm just not gonna go there. Oh, there was a bubble too right in the corner here. See, that really spreads with this resin. I don't put too much in there, too. I think. From an old resin. Okay, that's good. Violet. See how quickly it spreads compared to a thicker resin? Magenta. Plum. There we go. And some stream. So cool. That's so cool. Isn't that cool? Definitely reacts a whole lot more 
with this thin resin. I just wait it out a little bit. Then I just do some cool. It's one time in the spots because I've noticed I over mix sometimes. That's good. That should be really neat. Well, I don't know for sure because I don't know how this resin reacts and looks with that. No, it didn't. Whoops. Okay. So let's wait it out. Okay, here we go. Oh, this turned out like perfect. I could not be more happier. So we'll take a look at this first, okay? This is so neat. Let me stand up and make sure we're getting a good, decent look. I'll do a little zoom in stuff. That's <laughs> cool. There, look at those bubbles. This is so neat going up from him. Let me see if I can get them to come in a little more. Work on the bubbles first. There we go. There, that's neat. Can't put my hand behind it, unfocused. It's so hard to show these on camera. <sighs> Sorry, but the lens is like going, what? Anyway, check out the boat. So that's cool. Look at the plants. It's just like one of the fish tanks or a fish bowl. It's got bubbles on it. It's pretty neat. Ah, oh, me a fish. I don't have to feed him. <laughs> There's some of those glass glitters. Anyway, that's it. I love it. Let me put it back out. Very cute. Isn't that cute? Love it. So yeah, I'll be having a hard time taking pictures of it, probably. Because it's just hard when they magnify like that. Anyway, this, boy, that took forever the estate to cure. Like, two full days. I'm definitely 48 hours on these and they're still just a tad soft uh i knew this wasn't gonna work when i dropped the alcohol ink on it because it was spreading like crazy because of course it's thin resin but i didn't know what else to grab or i'd have to go digging through an entire tub full of let me see i got it these are there. Full of molds and then it took me forever. And I had to hurry. So anyway, it's probably no good. But see how it just changed completely? Because it's so thin. Oh, wait a minute. That is neat. It's not like the normal would be. But very cool. That looks like... um. What do you call it? Nebula like. That's kind of neat. Look at those little drizzles. Whoa, check it out. 
fine. That is dripping. I would never use that again though, but that is kind of neat. That's pretty cool. I'll show you one that I did once. Um, let me get it. There it is. But this was, it's got some bubbles in it and stuff, but it was like one of those, uh, you know, like an iceberg or something. I don't know. It was a weird mold. But I put alcohol ink in it, and it was with uh, the premium quality. It was so cool, boom. Check it out. Just was playing around with some extra resin I had. Looks like hair. Real fine. There's a lot of bubbles because it was the premium, yeah. It wasn't the deep pour. Is that a trip? Pretty neat. <laughs> So I'll show you that. Okay. So that's neat. That looks like a nebula of some sort. That was pretty cool. Now this one. Let me zoom out just a little bit. I can tell I kind of messed up on some green down here. Different, different spots. But it still might be cool. Just a tad bit soft still, though. Not this one, that one. Completely hard to rock because it's thicker. Oh, that's pretty. That is neat. Cool. That one's neat. Right on. I think his nose was supposed to be black, though. Wasn't it? <laughs> so that's that chameleon red. Look at that. You go like this. It's like the red. You go like this. It shimmers. Very neat. That's cool. Right on. So I'll just trim this off around here. I actually I could just pull it off my nail. I think it's kind of like off. It's very thin right there. Yeah, I think it's nice, but I can you know paint it black. I'll have to look at some pictures. <laughs> that shimmer's cool, that chameleon turn of color. Like an orangey, then red. That's cool. Hope you're seeing that. That was really cute. All right. So that was all fun stuff. I won't take too long here. I think I did pretty good at the video. Now I'll take forever. <laughs> so I'll take some pictures of these three, put them in the back of the video. And I think I got all of my deep pores out of my system for this week. <laughs> So I'm going to be practicing some waves um, tonight with, I got some new paste, the Just Resin Pigment Paste uh, from Artist Till Death. Because she's the only one I could find it from unless I ordered through Just Resin and that's all the way in Australia. It would have cost a long, long time. So uh, thanks, Artist Till Death. And... I'll be commenting on that in my video where they can get it. So anyway, that's it. Thank you for watching, everybody. Have a continued rest good of week. Um, yeah, we're heading into Friday pretty soon. It's Thursday. No, Wednesday for me. That's right. It's Wednesday evening. And uh, I'm just hanging in there doing things. So. Hope you guys are too, and keeping yourself happy, okay? I'll catch you later.
Bye-bye now.